Yeah, what's up everybody? Yeah, my voice is really deep, I hear it too. What's up? <laughs> I have a very deep voice, sounds a lot like I ate James Earl Jones. It does. I literally can walk out of here, find someone, and be like, I'm looking for my son, Hakeem. Like, I can do that. <laughs> Look, Simba, everything the light touches is our kingdom. That's what's going on right here. You guys got Mufasa on stage. Turn up, what's up? All right. Yeah, I've had this voice for a long time. Pretty sure when I went through puberty, my balls never dropped. They plummeted. You know what I mean? Just <laughs> went down, you know? <laughs> now, I had this voice for a long time, and it was weird uh, growing up because I was a big kid, and I would meet my parents' friends, and they'd freak out because they're not prepared for that. They go down the line like normal, just, hey, Timmy, how old are you? Oh, I'm seven. <laughs> hey, Jimmy, how old are you? I'm six. Get to me. Hey, Julian, how old are you? I'm five. <laughs> swings. <laughs> Wee! Just... It's terrifying, man. <laughs> Wasn't all bad, though, having this voice. One great thing about having this voice as a kid is my parents never worried about me playing outside by myself or getting abducted or kidnapped because they knew nobody's kidnapping a kid who sounds like this. <laughs> All right, there is never an ice cream truck outside my house with a guy inside like, hey, little boy, I got candy in my van. You want to come with me? Why don't you come with me? <laughs> <laughs> he gets out of there before I put him at the bottom of a well and look down like it puts the lotion on its skin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You guys are cool. Um, I've been traveling a lot more recently, which is really awesome. I've been traveling a lot more. The one thing that sucks though is I drive a lot and I have to use my GPS. And I'm pretty convinced my GPS hates me. And I know this because I was driving, gave me very general direction. It was like, bing, make a left turn up ahead. I missed my turn. Oops, my bad, whatever, move on with my life. But, swear to God, next thing I heard was BING! Ugh! <laughs> Rerouting. Like, <laughs> like you could hear her eyes rolling. <laughs> I didn't like that. So I went out and I bought one of those celebrity GPSs. I don't know if you guys have seen these, but they're really cool. Some of them celebrities will record their voices, and instead of a little robot woman, you'll get a celebrity giving you directions. Yeah. So like uh, Snoop Dogg, he has one. It's like the coolest thing ever. You turn it on, bing! Oh yeah, it's a D-O double G. <laughs> what you need, little mama? Make a right on the Habra. He just starts rapping, guys. <laughs> <laughs> you turn, you turn, you turn. You're going in circles, but to that beat though. <laughs> Pocket rockets, huh? I'll stop there. <laughs> Supposedly, there's a Morgan Freeman GPS. I've yet to find it, and I so badly want it. Because at that point, he's not giving you directions as much as he's narrating your adventure. <laughs> and that's fun for everybody. Turn it on. Bing! Well, here we go. <laughs> We're gonna journey north now. It's about a three-hour drive. Continue down this road and make a right when you see a white oak tree. <laughs> Oh, that oak. <laughs> that oak tree has stood there well since the late 1800s. Neither fire nor man has brought you. Learned about oak for an hour. You haven't even turned the car on. You're just, you're just sitting in the driveway like, I wanted to get milk, but I'm watching a documentary? This is great. There's one celebrity I think would be great, but also terrible as a GPS, and that's Tommy Chong. Right? I think he's just too chill of a dude. I think you turn that thing on. Beep! All right, man, let's go. You start driving. Beep! 
Amen. Where are we going? Just <laughs> So help me out, man. My name is Julian, guys. Thank you very much.